Now what we need in Lebanon today is exactly what was said. You cannot anymore be continuing building the future based on the tools and the people that took the country to war in 75. We replaced the Palestinians, Abu Ammar, with Hariri. That's the only replacement. Other than that, it's exactly the same people that have been there. Of course, with maybe we replace the generations, one generation by another generation, but the bottom line is uh, that we have uh, really have not uh, reached anything, no changes. When we say about the changes of, of parliament, why did we contest the election? In the year 2000, in the year 2000 when I contested the, the elections, uh, it is because I, when I came back in 92 into the Lebanon, my uncle used to be the head of the internal security forces. He was effectively by default the Minister of Interior because, you know, it's split. So he was the only person, and only Muslim, put it very bluntly, that could go into both sides of Beirut to communicate with both sides of the, of the political spectrum. And uh, when he came, he said, I need your help to try to create jobs for the people that were carrying arms, and now they are lost because, you know, technically we're not fighting anymore. So we came here and we established Future Security Company. Future Security, by the way, the word future is mine, yes. because the group, as you know, has been there for 1982, but anyway, notwithstanding that. So we today, twice, uh, the government, especially the Prime Minister, attempted to close it down, because he did not want people to actually invest into creating jobs. Mm -hmm. He wanted your money to make sure that he will control how much money you make, and then effectively your loyalty is to the individual, not to the state. The largest, the start of the corruption in this country started in 92. 92, if you recall, we had a Prime Minister called Omar Karami, and on 6th of May, 1992, and two days prior to that, you can see all the tires being prepared in order to start for the civil riots that happened. At that time, we had a debt of $2 billion only, versus the $80 billion that we have today. We had relatively a reasonable economy, Okay, it wasn't much, but you know, we're out of war. And uh, the exchange rate was 800 to the dollar. Mm -hmm. Overnight, tires were burned. The exchange rate jumped to 2,800. Now, you explain to me what is the, the economic mechanism to allow an exchange rate for a country with $2 billion to go from 800 to 2,800. This was a consorted effort between the people in Lebanon and the Syrians. Why? Because what happened, if you had a dollar, basically at 800, you exchange your 800 for a, for a dollar. The government of Omar Karami collapsed. We had the government of Rashid al -Salah. He issued uh, Treasury bonds at 45 and 46 percent interest rate at 2,800. So my dollar if I then convert into the Lebanese pound at 2,800, then I'm getting 45% of my, on my 2,800. Prime Minister Hariri comes to power. He brings Riyad Salemi as the governor of the central bank, and then he forces the exchange rate to become 15. So effectively, what your, your dollar became between five to six dollars, you know, within a period of two years, in addition to the 45% interest that we were, we were uh, charging. Mm -hmm. That money was mostly subscribed to by the private bankings. Who controls the private bankings? It's the political group that you have today. First year after the profits were announced, based on the first fiscal year at the end of December, then all of a sudden people started investing into Solidaire and the real estate that you see here today. According to the New York Times, Lebanon, we have 3,000 people. They control 25% of the income of Lebanon and 40% of the assets. What do you mean by its assets? Land. Treasury bonds and banks, because that's our economy. Less than 1% of the people control 25% of the income of this country. And then what happened after that, where we are today, is that the system is collapsing financially. So what they did, they started the so-called financial engineering, which we have seen over the last two years. It means three banks in Lebanon, Bank Med, Societe Generale, and Bank Audi, invested into Egypt invested into Turkey. And with the political turmoil, the exchange rate went up. Went up. Mm -hmm. So instead of them taking the risk and to write off in their books that 
management decision that has taken, they force the banks, because of these 3,000 people, they control the banks, to force the central bank to issue the so-called uh, financial engineering, which basically you discounted your treasury bonds at a much higher rate, and we're talking about 30%. It means when the bank, central bank, is going today to give you a 30% upfront, it means the actual, all what they're doing, they're subsidizing the exchange rate for the people that are holding these treasury bonds. Hmm. Okay. And now they're talking about another round of financial engineering to justify for the international community before going to Paris 4 that we have that 5 or 6 billion that we are using as a collateral to borrow the 10 billion in order to do the so-called infrastructures that are there. So we are basically a very close to a failing state. But because the decision makers are the politicians that they control the government and the parliament, technically there is no way out. Last point on this issue. Remember, we are the parliamentarian position, uh, system. It means the system that's going to give you your KITAS, okay, your certificate of clearance, is the parliament. Why do you think they ran and they made sure that they will pass the budget for 2017 after you know, not having a budget since 2004? They want to close the chance for the new parliament to open the debate how the money was spent since 2004. Mm -hmm. And having the 2018 passed in order to incorporate the decision to rent more ships to generate power and to justify the award of the oil and gas contract. So basically, the reason why the parliament was, ex the term was extended for another year was to make sure to pass these things, to close the chapter and not to allow any further government to come that they can open the, uh, the, the past.